Whether it's costume drama Downton Abbey or teen hit The Twilight Saga, Myanna Buring constantly shows her versatility. Her new role is very much of our time, as David Stevenson learns, star of Ripper Street, Downton Abbey and The Twilight Saga, Myanna Buring believes the new drama about the Salisbury poisonings is one of the most important roles of her varied career and one which has lessons for us all. In the three-part BBC drama she plays Dawn Sturgis, the only fatal, and wholly innocent, victim of the Russian Novichok nerve agent attack in Salisbury, Wiltshire. Myanna is in lockdown with her partner and three-year-old son when she talks to S Magazine on Zoom from a large brown leather sofa in Hersnug. The actress is chatty and thoughtful as she reveals she was already immersed in Russian dirty tricks when she was offered the role. I was doing a very expensive poison at the Old Vic, which was about the Alexander Litvinenko murder. I spent months involved in that remembering everything that had happened and suddenly this came along, she explains. It turned out that Salisbury wasn't the first time this kind of murder and poisoning happened on British soil. At first I thought, oh no, I've been so involved in this story I shouldn't do another. Then I read it and it was so well researched and so well written that I felt very strongly, and still do, that the story needed to be told. Although Russia has never admitted responsibility, the British government believes it poisoned former spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter, Yulia, with the nerve agent Novichok. The two were found in comas, slumped on a park bench in Salisbury in 2018. They survived, but Dawn Sturgis did not. Dawn and her companion Charlie Rowley had picked up a discarded perfume bottle in a park. The bottle contained the deadly substance and Dawn died in hospital just over a week later. Charlie survived. This July it will be two years since Dawn died, says Myanna. My memory from articles about Dawn was that she was a homeless drug addict who had died and that was it. Unfortunately, that sort of reductive tagline reduces someone to being less than important, collateral damage, in a way. I also think it's really important to address the fact that the Salisbury poisoning affected so many people in ways many of us have forgotten. It could have poisoned so many hundreds, thousands more, and it's an extraordinary testament to our frontline workers, and luck, actually, that it didn't happen. Dawn wasn't a drug addict, adds Myanna. She was a woman who had struggled with mental health and with issues in her life, as so many of us do, and she turned to alcohol. That became a bit of a vice for her but alcohol was not a definition of who she was. She was so much more. She was a mother of three who had hit rock bottom but was really trying to pull herself out of it. She was also a woman who had a gorgeous family, loving parents, sisters and brothers-in-law. They were a very tight, close-knit family from a small village outside Salisbury who, largely due to political events, just didn't feel like something would affect them. Sadly itdid.